Okie dokie. A Kiaram is a figure whose name holds profound spiritual meanings within Gnostic texts. The name itself is thought to have roots in ancient languages, possibly carrying nuances of divine power or presence. Within these texts, names often serve as more than just identifiers. They reflect the character's role and essence within the spiritual cosmos. For Akiaram, his name underscores his connection to higher divine aspects of existence. This connection suggests that he embodies a powerful presence in the spiritual realm resonating with the divine energy and authority that guide the Gnostic path of enlightenment. In Gnostic cosmology, Akiaram is depicted as one of the higher celestial beings. These beings act as intermediaries between the divine realm and the material world, aiding in the cosmic order and the spiritual enlightenment of souls. Gnostics believe that the material world is often filled with confusion and ignorance, making the guidance of such celestial beings crucial for spiritual awakening. Akiaram is one of the higher beings and plays a key role in this process. By acting as a bridge between humans and the divine, he helps to transfer sacred wisdom and insight. This knowledge is essential for souls seeking to understand their true spiritual nature and to find their way back to the divine realm, or the Pleroma. Through Akia Ram's assistance, individuals can navigate the challenges of the material world and work towards achieving a state of higher consciousness and spiritual harmony. This role underlines the importance of divine intermediaries in the Gnostic tradition, showing how they contribute to both personal and universal spiritual balance. Akiaram's association with the Pleroma underscores his importance in maintaining the spiritual harmony and balance of the universe. He is seen as part of the divine structure that keeps everything in its rightful place, ensuring that the divine light continues to flow smoothly from the higher realms to the material world. This association is crucial because it highlights Akiaram's role in upholding the cosmic order and promoting spiritual enlightenment. Through his connection to the Pleroma, Akiaram helps bridge the gap between the divine and the earthly, bringing a sense of unity and completeness to the spiritual journey of those who seek enlightenment. His presence within the Pleroma signifies a commitment to nurturing and sustaining the spiritual well-being of all beings. Akiaram serves as a vital messenger of the divine in Gnostic tradition as an angelic figure. His role involves conveying sacred knowledge and revelations to humans. This function aligns with a Gnostic belief that divine intermediaries play a crucial role in the spiritual journey of human beings. They act as channels for Gnosis, which is considered essential for enlightenment and spiritual awakening. Gnosticism holds that achieving higher spiritual understanding is not merely about intellectual pursuit, but also involves receiving direct insights from the divine realm. Akiaram is one of those who facilitate this process. He bridges the gap between the human and divine, ensuring that important spiritual truths are communicated to those who seek them earnestly. The messages Akiaram delivers often contain profound spiritual insights and can help guide individuals through their spiritual journeys. By sharing these revelations, he assists in lifting the veil of ignorance that clouds human understanding, helping souls to see the true nature of their existence and the divine order. This function underscores a key Gnostic belief that knowledge and enlightenment cannot be fully attained through human effort alone. Divine assistance is necessary, and angelic beings like Akiya Ram are instrumental in providing this support. Through the guidance and wisdom he offers, Akiya Ram plays a pivotal role in the Gnostic path to spiritual awakening, ensuring that divine insights enrich the lives of those who are prepared to receive them. Akiya Ram is seen as a guardian of spiritual truths protecting sacred wisdom and ensuring it is only revealed to those who are spiritually prepared to receive it. In Gnostic beliefs, this role is vital, unlike everyday information that anyone can learn. Spiritual truths require a certain level of readiness and understanding. Akiaram ensures that only those who have cultivated their minds and spirits have access to these profound teachings. It's like a spiritual wisdom that's locked in a treasure chest. Akiaram holds the key, but doesn't simply hand it over. Instead, he carefully watches over the chest, making sure that those who seek the treasure truly understand its value and are ready to use it wisely. This way, sacred knowledge isn't misused or misunderstood. Akiaram's guardianship means he influences who gets to access the high spiritual knowledge. It's like having an experienced guide at the entrance of a deep cave, ensuring that only those equipped for the journey ahead can enter. He makes sure that the wisdom contained within the cave is appreciated and used to advance one's spiritual path. In this way, Akiaram 
maintains the purity and integrity of spiritual truths. A key ram is shown in Gnostic literature as a symbol of divine light. This light is important because it represents the pure and transcendent nature of the divine. Gnosticism views the world, our physical reality, as filled with darkness and imperfection. This is where Akiya Ram's light comes in. It shines as a beacon symbolizing purity and the ultimate truth that lies beyond this material existence. For the Gnostics, this light is not just any light, it's the light of true knowledge and understanding. It breaks through the shadows of ignorance and deception that cover the material world. The presence of Akiya Ram's light guides believers towards a higher spiritual awareness and it helps them see past the falsehoods and limitations of our physical realm. This light serves as a reminder that there is something greater, more pure, and more truthful beyond what we can physically see and touch. A Kiaram's light is a constant in many Gnostic texts. It is used to inspire those who seek to free their spirits from the constraints of the material world. This divine light doesn't just illuminate the path to spiritual growth, it also provides comfort and assurance that there is a higher reality waiting to be understood. Through Akiya Ram, followers are encouraged to strive for this higher knowledge and to not settle for the material world's false promises. Basically, Akiya Ram is a symbol of divine light that represents the goal of spiritual enlightenment, and it contrasts sharply with the darkness of the material world, offering a hope for purity, truth, and a deeper understanding of the divine. Akiya Ram's role in Gnostic thought goes beyond just acting as a divine messenger. One of his crucial responsibilities is guiding the souls of the faithful towards enlightenment and reunion with the divine. In this process, he helps individuals navigate the challenges and complexities of the material world. This world is often filled with distractions and deceptions, especially those created by the Archons. The Archons are malevolent beings in Gnostic belief responsible for keeping souls trapped in the physical world away from spiritual truth. And Acarium supports believers in overcoming the influence of these deceptive forces. He provides spiritual guidance, helping souls recognize and reject the falsehoods of the material realm. And through his guidance, Akirium aids in the spiritual awakening of humans, steering them back towards their divine source. This journey towards enlightenment is not easy, but with Akirium's help, the faithful can find their way through the darkness of the material world, ultimately achieving unity with the divine. Akirium's role as a guide for the soul is essential. He acts as a beacon of light and a source of strength for those seeking spiritual awakening and divine reunion, making him a pivotal figure in the Gnostic journey. He also appears in the secret book of John, which is an important text in Gnostic literature. This book provides a detailed explanation of his role within the celestial hierarchy. It describes him as one of the high-ranking beings, close to the divine source and essential to the workings of the spiritual cosmos. Within the secret book of John, Akirium interacts with both divine entities and humans. These interactions are not just casual encounters, they are imbued with deep spiritual significance. He often serves as a conduit for divine wisdom, translating the divine will and cosmic truths to those who seek enlightenment. The secret book of John further delves into how Akirium aids other celestial beings in maintaining the order and balance of the universe. His relationship with these beings highlight his importance in the celestial hierarchy. He is seen not just as an individual entity, but as an integral part of a larger divine mechanism. In his dealings with humans, Akirium is depicted as a guide and protector. He helps souls navigate their spiritual journeys, ensuring that they receive the knowledge and revelations they need to achieve enlightenment. This protective and guiding role aligns with the Gnostic belief in the necessity of divine intermediaries to aid human souls in their quest for Gnosis. Through these intricate descriptions and narratives, the Secret Book of John paints a comprehensive picture of Akirium's multifaceted role in both the divine realm and the material world. His presence in this key Gnostic text underscores his significance and the profound impact he has on the spiritual lives of the faithful. Akirium acts as an intermediary between the higher divine realms and the lower material world. In this role, he plays a crucial part in facilitating the flow of divine energy and wisdom. He is the bridge that connects the spiritual and the material worlds. By serving as this bridge, Akirium helps bring divine insights and knowledge down to our material plane, making them accessible to humans. This bridging of the gap between the finite and the infinite is essential for the Gnostic belief in achieving spiritual enlightenment. Without intermediaries like Akirium, the profound wisdom of the divine realm would remain distant and unattainable. Akirium ensures that the light of the spiritual realm reaches those who seek it, helping them navigate their journeys towards greater awareness and truth. 
This role highlights his importance with Gnostic cosmology, where intermediaries are seen as vital for the dissemination of sacred knowledge. Acurium's function as an intermediary is more than just a position. It is a pivotal element in the spiritual ecosystem. Through him, the divine and the earthly find a connection, allowing for the enrichment of human souls and the maintenance of cosmic harmony. Acurium embodies the core principles of Gnosticism, making him a significant figure in these spiritual teachings. One of these core principles is the pursuit of Gnosis. Gnostics believe that achieving this knowledge is essential for understanding the divine and one's own spiritual journey. Another principle Acurium represents is the struggle against ignorance. In Gnostic belief, ignorance is seen as a major barrier to spiritual enlightenment, and Acurium, as a higher celestial being, helps souls overcome this ignorance and guides them towards true knowledge. The journey towards spiritual awakening is also a key aspect of Gnostic teachings. Acurium guides souls on this journey, helping them navigate the challenges and distractions of the material world. His guidance is crucial for those seeking to reconnect with the divine. Acurium's existence underscores the importance of divine intermediaries in the Gnostic path to enlightenment. These intermediaries facilitate the connection between the human soul and the divine realm, making the spiritual journey possible. Acurium, with his role and responsibilities, highlights how essential these figures are in the Gnostic belief system. All right, that's all I got for today. Thanks for listening. If you like it, hit that subscribe button for us. If you don't like it, that's okay too. Other than that, have a great day.